Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today we're going to go over fixing problems, fixing common problems with VPN connections. Uh, there's, you know, a few things that tend to go wrong. I'm going to cover the first two, which are the most common, and uh, the first couple of steps you need to check before diving in further and and doing some serious troubleshooting. So, I'm going to start from the point where we're going to assume that. You know, you have a VPN connection set up on a copy of Microsoft Server. I'm using Microsoft Server 2016. Uh, this article written by Brian Posey in 2003 covers some older versions. Some of the steps are going to be in, in some different spots for some of the more advanced troubleshooting. Um, but really, we're not looking at, you know, UI issues here. We're looking at, you know, core uh, configuration things on Microsoft Server. So. They might be in different, some of the menus might be a little different, but the things you're fixing are going to be the same. So let's start off, again, assuming that you've got the VPN uh, setting set up, you've got everything configured properly, but it's, it's getting rejected. This, the connection to the VPN server keeps being rejected. Uh, if that's the case, there's a good possibility that routing the, remo the routing and remote access service is disabled or hasn't started properly. So if you want to check that, open up the control panel go to administrative tools then to services click on something in here and click R which will skip you down to the R's look for routing and remote access we can see here in this case it is running uh, you may have to go in here if it's not running change the st startup type to automatic or manual if you're gonna be only using it sometimes and make sure you click start to start the service uh, once that happens and once it's running properly you need to open up a command prompt and ping the server by by IP address that you're using to connect to. Um, if that works, then ping it by the fully qualified domain name. If the fully qualified domain name fails, then you probably have a DNS problem and you're going to need to start troubleshooting from that point. If If both the fully qualified domain name and the IP address resolve, you're good. Uh, but if you're still having connection issues, then then you need to check the second thing, which is going to be authentication. Um, it's possible that the VPN clients and your server are using different authentication methods, and so they're just not talking to each other. If you want to try, or if you want to find that out, you can go back, close these out, hit Control R, and you're going to open up an instance of the Microsoft Management Console by typing MMC into the run prompt. You're going to have to add the snap-in for routing and remote access. So click on Add Remove Snap-in and scroll down to Routing and Remote Access. Double click it to add it. Hit OK. In this case, I don't have any VPN servers set up in here. For an example, I'm just going to say Add Server and use this computer as a as kind of a test. So you can see here, if you go to server status, you can see that it's started but unconfigured. Uh, that's because this isn't an actual example of a running VPN server. But if you're going to check the, uh, the, the authentication methods, just right click on the name of the computer and go to properties. In this case, this isn't going to work for me because this isn't configured. But if you open up properties, you should see uh, several tabs. Uh, one of them is going to be security. Click on the security tab and look at authentication methods. Uh, choose the appropriate ones uh, to correspond with your VPN clients that are trying to connect. In most cases it's going to be um, a Windows authentication. It's the most common used. Um, RRA, the routing remote access, can handle authentication itself if Windows uh, authentication is selected. So once you bypass those steps, if you're still having issues, go check out this article by Brian and then scroll down to more things to check and go through here. You might have problems with Active Directory. You could have issues with any number of things, but this is where you're going to have to check for any of those further steps. For most instances, one of these two things is going to fix the problem. And like I said, if it doesn't, check out Brian's article. That's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. And be sure to check out Tech Republic for more tips and tricks just like this one.